when we talk about um, cannibalism, we don't really talk about the after effects of the one who consumes. Can you, do you think you could spot a cannibal? Like, do you think it might be the way that they're acting? Do you think it might be the smell of their breath? Do you think it might be the chunks of flesh between their <laughs> fingernails? Having your death location be the Atlantic Ocean, that's gotta be one of the most badass places to die. Description-wise, like, you know. Oh, where, where did you die? Where, where did you meet your demise? Within the fish. At the bottom of the deepest parts of Earth. The darkness that no grave can truly emulate. Silence. Murk. A little bit of movement, but not much. When I was younger, I would try to injure myself on purpose so we could end up on America's Funniest Home Videos. I would, like, jump on my bed and, like, try to fall, but it, it didn't really make sense because I wasn't filming at all. I just, for some reason, assumed that Tom would kind of sense that something has happened in this household and ask, Hey. What, what's going on? Do you want to get on the show? I love Rachel Ray. I love how she's like telling you how to cook something and says to get certain ingredients and like get a very specifically sized pan for a meal. But the average American cannot afford that kind of pan. You're gonna need a three by five skillet that in order to carry, you need at least four to five people holding it. It should look like a prop skillet found in a Western museum, completely discolored and unusable. None of that made in China shit, all right? I'm talking south of France, crafted by a Polish man who doesn't own any shoes. You should be able to hear the animal meat you're slapping into the pan come alive again. I saw a person holding a McDonald's cup in an Instagram post, but it wasn't like the plastic one, it was the, the paper one. And I just wanna know what we did to offend God so much to change those beautiful singular paper cups into plastic. I have a monogamous relationship between McDonald's paper cups and it's long distance, it's been a few years, but we're working it out. And I'm waiting for them to return home. Ah. Uh, why? What's the purpose? I don't understand. If you're gonna be a plastic cup, at least be one of those frosted ones. That gives a faded, low opacity vibe. Sort of like those thick glass walls at the chiropractor that stand between you and the waiting room and the receptionist. Like, I want to let people know what I'm drinking, but like soft launch it. Give you an idea, but you can't entirely guess. Like, if you see my plastic cup, it's a window into what's going into my body. And that itself is a window into what my health looks like, and it's, it's been better. They should have encased Kennedy in just a wad of this glass tile. This would have stopped the bullet. There's no need for this thin little plastic barrier that they put between the president and the rest of the world. There are so many angles to kill someone. Not that I know, but just observing from how stupid everyone does it, encase them in therapist waiting room Glass. There's something mysterious about the dilated down aesthetic of a waiting room. Like all the chairs are equally separated from perfect distance, but there's at least three different light sources happening from all angles. There's a lamp going on in the corner and then like above you've got like two panel lights. The bulbs are completely different colors and the orange one is obviously flickering more than the LED one. And then the receptionist has her own personal lamp where it's out at a distance to let everybody know that it's hers, but still closed off enough where it's clear that it is not a communal lamp and you can't use its light source to fill out your paperwork because what you're doing is you find yourself in this weird like animalistic lean to your left your whole body is crushed up to the left just so you can have a smidge of light to know where you put your social security number and you can't even use the armrest as a great place to put that paper because the armrest is round for some ungodly known reason like you have no idea how much of a impact a a benefit that this little thin piece of wood is gonna have to do on my neck strain just so I could simply rest the clipboard on there. It's going to change my life. It's going to change other people's lives. It's going to save me from getting down onto the carpet into child's pose and filling out my paperwork like I'm back in third grade filling out a coloring book. I love going to the pediatrician, the children's pediatrician, and seeing that corner of like all those plastic toys and like that thing you can kind of twist and turn up on the wall and like 
you know how germ ridden it is and you're here because your child is sick let let's let's heighten that while we're here go ahead and play to me yes of course i mean you know instead of fixing your situation let's just increase it did you guys know that grimes has no friends only posts i do now she followed me a while ago and i didn't follow her back because i didn't care but then the itching thought started creeping up my spine what if there's some sort of like information on her friends only posts that i could be obtaining that i could profit off of so i followed her back and to my surprise uh there wasn't any i don't think she even knows what the friends only posts feature is when i made that video about bass pro shop and i made that joke about uh, camp soap and how what's the difference between camp soap and regular soap there was no difference well some people were saying that the chemicals in the camp soap are actually better for the environment when you're out there that's hence why it's called camp soap instead of like regular dawn which makes a lot of sense until you think about the plastic bottle that it comes in and how hey <laughs> do you think that thomas andrews would actually like the direction of climate change the eradication of icebergs after all that shit he went through yeah he would be fist fighting the scientists who have chained themselves to chase bank in 2009 my father like most americans joined facebook and he began a friendship with a man from new york about four months in the man we're gonna call him daryl daryl said would you like to come visit me i would love I would love for you and your family to come visit me here in New York. And like, you're thinking maybe, oh, you know, upstate maybe New York or you're so somewhere where there's a McDonald's at least two blocks away. No, this man was in the woods. This man was in the woods of New York next to a creek. And he said, bring your, bring your wife and your only child and trust me. So my dad, the, um, the mature individual he is, he took his said wife and his said only child put him on a plane and we all traveled there across the country to meet a man who lives in new york in the woods and it was actually a very pleasant trip his wife was very nice and his daughter was like a year older than i was and she loved justice i had a friend in elementary school every single day before recess now i have to clarify because i'm gonna get up weren't you homeschooled weren't you homeschooled i went to public school in elementary school all right Okay, so I know what a fire drill is. I had this friend, and I don't know what she kept in this justice purse of hers, but she carried it everywhere she went, and every time before recess. And because I was in front of her in our line every single day, she asked me, Asia, will you hold my purse while I go to the bathroom? So I did, and it was a justice purse, and that inspired me to want to get my own purse. And then I could bring it to school, and then I'd ask, the girl in front of me. Hey, would you hold my purse while I go to the bathroom? What business do I have in the bathroom? Nothing. I need to go to bed. It's two o'clock in the afternoon.